deal with this disconnect. We have communities of color that we know have high rates of crime where people are repeatedly victimized. Uh, we know for a fact if you poll people in those communities, they want more police. They want more access to the resources that can keep them safe. And meanwhile, Congresswomen, congressmen that represent these communities by and large uh, running around saying they want to get rid of the funding. Yeah. Yeah, Joe, thanks for having me. And, you know, every time I see this type of rhetoric, especially from Maxine Waters and other uh, sitting elected officials that say they want to defund, I look back at their district. Generally, they have the highest uh, crime rates. They have the worst infrastructure, some of the problematic school systems, et cetera. And I'm perplexed to think, like, why in the world would the, you put a message out here, you know, when your own backyard needs to be taken care of? And let alone the hypocrisy, as you saw in the video, the viewers, the fact that you would promote defunding the police when you have a complete security entourage, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Congressman Maxine Waters has a gate around her home and private security at her home. It's just, it's bizarre, Joe. But listen, I put it back on the constituents and constituents and all the viewers around here, Newsmax audience, you know, you got to pay attention to every single election. And obviously there's some particular base that she's depending on that she keeps getting reelected. You know, we had my good friend Joe Collins run against her, you know, putting a message out there. But you know, if it wasn't for great Newsmax shows and some other what very limited that can put a message out to uh, predominantly black communities and underserved communities on on the rhetoric that Maxine and many of them are really hindering, being a hindrance on them and keeping these communities down. So I'm praying that there will be a reformation, uh, Brother Joe, in 2022 that's going to uh, put some of these elected officials out and put some folks in there that have the business of taking care of the community. Absolutely. Oscar.